Spurs with us. I see a smirk from him. Well, seven to six. Sometimes you have to find a way to win a game to get into a conference tournament at the end of the year and in conference. Any way you can take them, you'll take them. Your team never quit here today. No, they, they didn't. And that's what we just got done talking about is, uh, you know, we did, we did everything we could to not win that game. Um, and, you know, uh, we, we tried. But you know what? I mean, I'm kidding but to a certain extent. I mean, we got to clean up a lot of things because we should have been in a better position there. But, you know, that's a good team, man. Michigan State's a good team. There's a reason why I think that was their fifth loss. I mean, but, like, our kids competed. And, and, the, and the biggest thing that we just got done talking to them is, is that, you know, we're in games and have it. We have a chance to win that game, even though we have we played had five errors, gave up two really big innings because our competitive spirit and how hard we play. And again, those go down to choices. And, you know, I know you and I, Tripp, have talked a lot over my last two and a half years about choosing to play hard, choosing to compete. Those take no athletic ability whatsoever. That, that, that's why you, want, you have to choose to do those things. Uh, well, when we look at this game, what we saw in the first two games was a Michigan State team that really gave you no margin for error. And here in this game, they gave you some margin for error. And unfortunately, it looked like for the longest time your team wasn't able to capitalize. What was the difference then going into the bottom of the ninth? Well, you know, the, going into the bottom of the ninth, it's really just comes down to, again, just nobody make the last out. As long as you don't make the last out, you got a chance to win. And, you know, we, we put together a few at-bats, and, and TK, unbelievable, get inside the ball, just, you know, uh, great at-bat. And then, um, you know, it was funny because I don't know if you guys saw it, but Bowersock slipped coming out of the box. Like halfway down the line, he literally almost tripped and fell. And I was like, oh, man, because I thought he was going to beat it out because he was so fast, and then the guy threw it away. So, But you know what? I'm, um, again, it's just a matter of just get the next guy up, get the next guy up, and and uh, you can't be chasing that final run. you just got to play the pitch in front of you. Well, your starter, Justin Yeagman, goes six innings in this game, allowed seven hits, four runs, three earned. Now, what do you think of his performance? You know what? He's been better, and, and this is – but this is part of it for a freshman. I mean, you know, he's he's – hitting a little bit of a wall physically and, and uh, you know but he gave us a good enough effort to definitely win the game and, and you know I, I know that I mean, he's a guy that doesn't walk guys and the lead off walk in the in the sixth inning I know he was kicking himself about that and, and again go back to Michigan State that's all you that's all they want is just give give them a chance to swing the bat with a run off. Not a lot of guys swinging the bat better than Nick Riata right now throughout the country but man oh man just another impressive performance today. Yeah man the guy has been really really good and competitive and doesn't throw away a whole lot of at bats and, and uh, you know we, we moved him up to the top of the order today get him you know get him up there and hopefully get him on and it worked out. Well big picture now obviously you want to win every game in a weekend series but to get this win at the end of the weekend it really I think it sets a different tone now moving forward. Is this one of those games where you look back at the end of the year and this could be a difference maker maybe about the way the direction your team goes or even you get down to the final stretch and you need one game to get in the Big Ten tournament you reflect that this looked like it could have gone the wrong direction and ends up in a victory. Yeah you know I, I I think so. I mean, I, I do. I think that it, you know it's a lot better to be five and four in conference than four and five. And, and uh, you know, again, you, you never you never know which game it's going to be that allows you to get in a, in a conference tournament, or if you do get in, seeding. So you know what? I'm I'm proud of our kids. Again, um, we could have you know long day. Um, you know, could have just kind of, especially after that play. I've never seen anything like that. That's why I love baseball. You see something new every day. But when that you know. Nick Graham's trying to make a play, and he throws it away, and I, you know the guy comes all the way around and scores, and that could have just shut a team down, and uh, we didn't. Well, Coach, uh, congrats on a great game, two win, and look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. That one. Appreciate it, guys.